But that physical body has, has been so uh, developed in a very structured way. It's an aspect, but yet it really is not of your making. It's simply your ancestors. It's an aspect, but uh, it seems to have its own mind. It has its own ways. It's an aspect that has the most complex communication network uh, that you can imagine, other than perhaps the brain. But even the mind and the brain are more flexible than the body. Uh, the brain, you can change your thoughts faster than you can change your body. So the body is something that has become very, very rigid. It's, it's almost like a statue, almost like this. Very rigid, very difficult to change other than to break it. And the body, this aspect, has a tendency to actually limit consciousness. It limits consciousness because if you're having a bad body day, uh, you're sick or you're in pain, your consciousness, uh, your awareness of your awareness goes way down. One of the very first aspects that starts going through uh, integration is the physical body, but the physical body will also be uh, take the longest for uh, integration. Uh, the mind actually is going to integrate faster. It's a little stubborn up front, but uh, it actually integrates faster. So the body is all your body has already started on a. Uh, that aspect called the body has already started on a process of the integration of the light body. Uh, it's happening right now, but it's going to it's going to be slower. As as the light body comes in, the physical body is not replaced. Uh, there's a there's a thinking that suddenly your physical body is going to go away. It's going to be there. You're bringing in the and of your light body. They're going to coexist together. In doing so, the physical body will adapt certain characteristics of the light body. In other words, the ability to heal faster, the ability to age slower, or possibly even uh, to um, pick up more youth. Uh, but you'll still, have, you'll still have both bodies and they're going to be integrated together. So consider that the physical body and the light body are, are both aspects. And again, you're not going to uh, get rid of your physical body. There'll be changes that occur within the physical body. Basically, the, the replacement of what was called the aniatron in the physical body uh, will basically dissolve, will basically go away, because it doesn't, the physical body is not going to need that communication network anymore once the light body is stabilized in this reality. The light body will serve as that entire communication network, and the two actually will be well integrated together, even though, in a sense, they're two separate bodies. This will lead to the ability to continue to have sensual pleasure of the physical body, but also things like um, the faster healing because of the presence of the light body, and the ability to do what you would call uh, bilocation, because your light body can go anywhere, um, whether it's other realms, other parts of uh, the planet, carrying along with it attributes of the physical body, uh, but not necessarily not necessarily taking your physical body and uh, evaporating it here right now and suddenly appear on the other side of the earth. Your physical body will still be here, and the light body can can go to another part of the planet or the universe and take the attributes of the physical body with it in order to have uh, a very sensual experience as well. So these are these are two very what you would call become very clear very healthy aspects ways for you to experience and express and really um don't have so much to do with a lot of the other aspects but what you're going to have happen in your life is just levels and layers of integration of the various aspects whether they're physical mental emotional or anything else, coming all back together uh, into the I Am, into uh, 
very deep integration. There's another aspect. It's a broad and general aspect, it's very large in a way. It's called your biology. Your biology is an aspect, not just in this body, but the biology of the other lifetimes you have led. This aspect has been very, very beat upon. It has been criticized. It has been judged. It has been used as a storage place for emotional and psychic junk. And the biology has taken on all of the crap, all of the suffering that you have had about your spiritual and physical journey on earth, the resentment that you have had about coming back into physical body, the longing that you've had about getting the hell out of physical body and getting back into the non-physical realms, but yet this aspect has continued to serve you over and over and over. And when the physical body had a weakness and an illness, it was traumatized. You were traumatized. You lost trust. Part of you said, if my physical body gets sick like this, what about my spiritual being? Can it get sick and diseased and distorted? Look at your physical body and said it is weak, it is made up of blood and cells and bones, and it falls apart, and therefore I am frightened of it. How could I possibly love something that turns on me and that causes me pain? And you have created a very large aspect, very wounded, very sad. It feels that you can't possibly trust it, so how would it possibly feel, welcome back home? It feels that you resent being in it, so how could it possibly integrate back into you? Unless you welcome it back. Everything about it, whether you think it's fat, or it's too large, or too small, or not this or not that, can you absolutely welcome your physical aspect back home, welcome your biology back into you? Can you accept and have compassion for your biology in every way. Stop trying to think that it should be strong or that you should be able to heal it. Stop equating your spiritual grandness with the ability of your physical body to rejuvenate itself. But truly have compassion and love for that physical aspect. No, what you do with this aspect, if there's any desire, aspiration with this aspect, is to have this aspect, the body aspect, become the facet. In other words, integrated, uh, so that when you leave this planet, your last life, you take that all the attributes of the physical with you, not, not the literal blood and bones, but you're so integrated that you bring everything that you've done in the, with the physical aspect with you so that you can go – and I mean this very literally – you can go anywhere in creation. When you can imagine, though, that you can take your physical body, all the attributes of it, and as it is integrated and becomes a facet, you can go anywhere in creation, which is big, and recreate your physical self without having to be birthed, thank God, without having to have that physical body uh, die in the old way. You just manifest it. Boom. It's there. Any dimension, any place, you can recreate it, and then you can uncreate it.